Welcome back. We're doing Monster Blood for breakfast re book review. If you didn't see the others, we're doing the whole Horrorland series. This was the first one we did. We did this one, and now we're on this one. The back says, for an athlete like Matt Daniels, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It's also the most dangerous. That's because somebody is about to pull a mean prank, and the recipe is pretty simple. Just add monster blood. This book had so much potential. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I, like, only beef I have was a neighbor kid was so beyond annoying. Yeah. Like, I get that they were trying to make him, like, an annoying character, and I get that, but it was to the point where, like, as a reader, I am too annoyed to want to... Like, I was only reading it for the sake of the story, but I hated those parts. Yeah. I was like, oh, this kid again. <laughs> I think because a lot of times in life we, we know someone who's frustrating and annoying like that, and all the little situations of the neighbor kid doing that. What was the neighbor's kid's name again? Couldn't say on mm. there, does it? I don't know, but the first page has this missing flyer for Brittany, which was in the previous book. So they are all linked together. Brittany was actually from that one. Oh, that one, yeah. yeah. Brittany was all linked, they're all linked together. All of them. And that's, I love how seamlessly they just all blend together. Like yeah. They just pick up and like, it's just really, I really like that concept. Where it's like you get a book, and then you get like a second book. Yeah, a story within a story. A story, yeah. The dome within the dome. Yeah. Cha. I think for me, the neighbor kid being annoying wasn't so much that that bothered me. It was how they were handling it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it kind of always sets up those frustrating moments. But, yeah, I like the... I like the scene where it showed the athlete going for the swim... What was it, like a sectional or mm -hmm, whatever? Yeah. And he had, had taken the monster blood yeah. and he was performing so good, way better than he ever did before. Do you feel like anxious in that moment? Like, oh my God, they're going to find out because he was like yeah. getting taller and bigger and... Yeah, I thought for sure that he would have been found out and then it started to wear off pretty quickly. For I me... I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the monster blood to be like a permanent thing. I was expecting like the green thing. Yeah. Not just him getting bigger and stronger, but maybe it was like he didn't take enough. For me, it was like the neighbor kid was so annoying, and then he would let him over. It's right. like, why would you answer the door? Yeah, like why would you keep <laughs> putting yourself in the position to have that keep happening? Yeah, or like he would steal his hoodie, and I'm like he just like let him. I was when like, he... wait a minute, if you're a big athlete, like why would you? Yeah, and then he stole a science project, right? Yeah. Oh my god, don't even get me started on the science project. <laughs> That was another thing, too. Like, you were like, as a kid, your instinct, your gut instinct would be, that's not true. He's lying. You know? Right. Like, it's it's weird that, like, he didn't, I don't know. I just felt like he just kind of, like, Meh, yeah. on everything. And I'm just like, no. Like, it was, it, was, it was just a little too much. But maybe that's what he was going for. I don't know. Probably. That, that frustrating aspect. What would you rank this? That one there, I mean, I would give it probably a good three and a half. Like, I thought it was a what? good story, but it was also kind of, it felt like a almost typical story that you would expect. Because there are, mm -hmm. there are different stories out there. Like, uh, for instance, is the movie Meet the Parents. Similar kind of thing, where things keep happening, and it's like, it, you're frustrated for the main uh, character. Yeah. So feeling that feeling of frustration is definitely what doesn't make it enjoyable. Beats but... from the East, the whole book is that. Oh, really? And people, like, are diehard Beats from the East fans. And I huh. am just not. Well, it is, think... it is just too goddamn much. <laughs> I think for some people it's because if it has, like, a, an element of revenge in it. It, it allows mm. them to feel that when they read it. I think it, for me, like, I can tolerate some ignorance, but at a certain point, I'm like, I just want to, like, reach through the book and slap them and be like, wake up. Yeah. Why would you do that? I think <laughs> it's if, like, what are you doing? Like, to me, I thought the story was very well put together. It was just some of those elements yeah. of the, of the yeah. neighbor kid is kind of what did kill it. 
So if maybe they made it to where the kid, the neighbor kid was a wimpier kid, not so much an annoying little kid, but he was somebody who was constantly bullied or whatever, and he wanted to get the monster blood. Yeah. And then the main character, you said it was Matthew, Matt. Yeah. He that, accidentally, I like that. I like that concept. He accidentally would have had the monster yeah. blood, and maybe he would have then unadverted, un unintentionally been a bully to that neighbor kid. I like that concept because then that neighbor kid, you almost would, you almost be like, he did this bad thing buying this monster blood and like it caused mayhem, but you'd almost feel kind of bad for him. Yeah. Like I, I could empathize with why he bought it off the, was it the black market on the internet the, or something like that? The dark web. Dark yeah. web. It's like, okay, I could kind of understand, you know. Like, he would still be annoying or whatever, but, like, there would be some compassion there. I, I really like that concept that you suggested. Yeah. I feel like that's yeah. probably a way that that would bump up the rating for me. Yeah. Um. Because if that kid was so wimpy in the first place, typically a wimpy kid may not be the most annoying kid. Mm -hmm. They would be more quiet, shy, and reserved. They'd be in survival mode. Yeah. They'd try to just get on by. I would almost say two or three out of five. Like, I would give it pretty lower. Yeah. Yeah. Just because like, it was predictable. There was so much predictability in it. I didn't really care for that. Yeah. I liked it better than the second one, for sure. Like, when he he ordered it, and those two guys were, like, hunting him down. It's like, uh, yeah. surprise, surprise. And then they kept kind of looming to the fact of, like, the lid wasn't screwed on tight. And then it... And his plant was right there. And then, and then it spilled on the plant. It's like, surprise. Like, it just... And with him stealing his science project, like you said, I seen that coming a mile away. Yeah. And I just kept seeing... Maybe that's what it, it was. It became predictable. He was so... The, the annoying neighbor kid was so predictable. Yeah. You knew he was gonna what he was going to do before he even did it. And none of the other characters anticipated it. And that was the never-ending loop that you were in was like dude you knew better yeah, yeah 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 i think you're right so i'd say two or three out of five it's not bad um yeah. and definitely for the Horland series you need to know what monster blood is because monster blood comes up in several other books of goosebumps so this definitely is a necessity it's not a bad book and i would recommend it if you're gonna read other series yeah there's just elements to it yeah. that could have been better yeah i agree and we had to stop and take a break from Horror Land because the next one is The Haunted Mask, which DC has never read the original Haunted Mask. So we took a break from Horror Land and we read The Haunted Mask. And so then the next one in the series is about that Haunted Mask. So I'm excited to get back on track and continue the Horror Land series. Yeah. It's, it's good. Now that you know the story of The Haunted Mask. Right. And it coming back and and the play is, I think it will. We talked about this a little bit about Camp Zool, and the, you know Zool and Axe like having the the same face mask, um, album cover as that, and when I see it, it means so much more to me, because I know the story of them that mask, right. and I think that when you start to learn more about it, and you see like Zul's artwork like that, like it will, it will hit you deeper because you'll know the degree of how evil this mask is and, and how powerful it is. Yeah. It's not some little kid with a Halloween mask. It's so much more. Right. Yeah. 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 Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good day and check out one of these two videos if you're interested. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.